Hey guys, it's Eternal909, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a reptile fogger. So, the things you're going to need are a barb fitting, um, preferably plastic, but brass will work fine, just nothing that will corrode under fresh water. Um, this is a Watts nylon hose barb. 3 8 inch inside diameter by half inch MIP so the threads are half inch and this is 3 8 inch inside diameter and then you're going to need well this is the packaging so that's what I got so the next thing barb you're going to need is a I couldn't find it in plastic so I got it in brass it's a brass hose bar, 1 8 inch inside diameter by 1 4 inch MIP. So it's a 1 8 inch um, bar and a 1 4 inch thread. And that's for your airline tubing. So the next thing you're going to need is airline tubing, an air pump for at least up to 60 gallons, but mine's up to 100. Some, uh, some other tubing of your choice, whatever size. Mine is um, 3 8 inch inside diameter. And you're going to need a ultrasonic humidifier. It's like this little disc um, and you plop it in and plug it in and it makes fog. So the first thing you're going to need to do is drill your holes or use a sod iron. So you need one for the size thread and on the top. And you're also going to need a container. Something to make this in. Add it. And the sec second hole is going to be in the side of the jar. And you're going to need another hole for your cord to come out of for the ultrasonic humidifier. And you're going to need to um, epoxy that as well. So you need some epoxy too. I have just some all purpose epoxy that I just mix up. So then you're going to put these in and put some, put some epoxy around them and let it dry for about an hour. Even if it says 5 minute epoxy, still let it dry for an hour. So that's the end of part 1. Stay tuned for part 2. Thanks for watching.